Hi Leo, welcome to your February 2019 read. So for the first, or for the four weeks of February, we have the four of Earth, Justice, the Hermit, and the Two of Water. So clarifying the four of Earth in the first week, um, we have the Ace of Cups and the Sun. So the four of Earth says being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, giving the, giving to those less fortunate. I think you need to balance out um, your giving and receiving, Leo. You've either been on one spectrum where you've been giving too much, or on the other spectrum, on the other spectrum where you've been a little selfish and you've been kind of like hoarding your funds and not really being very generous. And you know, generosity goes a long way, no matter how much you have. It doesn't necessarily have to be giving in money. Um, but you're feeling, you're, even though, like, you're out of balance in this financial situation, you still feel good. You're still happy, like, you're not letting this phase you. Um, there could be a new beginning with a Libra. Somebody who you feel um, you'll be getting justice with in the second week of February. You know, Libras are all about fairness and balance. And I think you, you have somebody who's very close to you who's a Libra, and you're going to be getting justice with this person. After you take some time to kind of reflect, because the Hermit is here, you know, you need to take some time to meditate. Meditate about your funds, about options you're being given, Leo. Um, I'm getting that you are connecting with... Actually, I don't know. This might be your energy. I feel like you're you're really feeling very flirty. You're really wanting to give your cup to somebody, Leo. You're sick of being single. This is for single Leos, um, this message. You're sick of being single. You're ready to cut out that, like, that life. You're ready to move forward into a relationship, to grow closer with somebody. There's going to be forgiveness that's given in the month of February. Somebody's going to forgive somebody else. Um, and you're going to be feeling very good. There's going to be new beginning, new opportunities. Um, you're manifesting opportunities for yourself, options for yourself. Hermit's here again. You need to go inward, Leo. You're very out of balance. You're very out of balance. You need to take some time to really think about what's keeping you off balance. Ooh. Could be some sort of heartbreak from a Virgo, maybe, an Earth sign. Um, but, like, I'm getting Virgo. Could be a Libra that broke your heart, but it's, you're, you're still very, very hurt by something. And you need to go inward in order to fix this Three of Swords, you need to go in and be a hermit and kind of just take some time to really reflect on the things that you've been doing and the things that people have been telling you, you know what I mean? Reflect on this situation. Because I think your intuition has been telling you this the whole time. Your intuition has been telling you you need to go in deep and go and look inside yourself. But I think you're kind of in a mentality where you're not going to take any crap from anyone because you're hurt. You were like, mm -mm, I'm not getting hurt again. You could be feeling very guarded. You could be feeling very bound to another Leo. Um, oh, wow. You feel like somebody has other options and that they're lying to you. And you feel like you don't have enough information to leave a situation. So, somebody's breaking your heart, Leo. They're doing it behind your back. And your intuition is telling you, oh, this is so sad. I'm so sorry, Leo. Somebody is being deceptive. And this isn't for all of you, but whoever this resonates for, you know. You know who you, know who you are. Um, the High Priestess is here. There's some sort of deception that's going on. Somebody has other options, Leo. Could be another, it could be a water sign that they're connecting with, but somebody is rejecting something. Rejecting a Pisces, maybe? Or you're rejecting a Pisces? But I think somebody's lying about some sort of rejection. I think somebody is saying that they're rejecting other people and they're not actually, they're actually offering their cup but like on the low low. And this person's lying to you and you don't have enough information so you don't want to leave because you're not entirely sure but like y you'll get some information you just need to go in deep. 
You need to go in and meditate and find this information for yourself. Yeah, this is somebody who's very immature. They're not necessarily ready to settle down, this water sign that you're connecting with. You know, there's some sort of deception that's going on with this water sign. Could be a fixed sign. Could be you. You're feeling very complete, though. You don't need this person. I don't think you're very phased. You're going to be a little, like, it's going to sting a little, Leo, but you're not going to be very phased. You're a very happy person, like, you're not going to let anybody knock you off your little horse, you know? So even if you do find out about this deception, you're going to find out somewhere um, second to third week, maybe. But it's going to be after you go in and do some meditation. I think your guides, your angels are going to be coming to you and trying to tell you that some something kind of shady is going on. You're trying to offer your cup to somebody who is being deceptive, who is lying to you, cheating, because the Three of Swords is here. Could be an Aries Taurus that you're dealing with. You feel very trapped with this person. Maybe they're manipulative. Maybe there's somebody who's very manipulative and they're, they're somebody who really is good at lying. They're very good at lying. And you know because you're intuitive, Leo. You could have water in your chart. You, you know that some shit's going on. But you don't have enough information to accuse this person without sounding fucking crazy because I think you're playing it very smart Leo is what I'm seeing you're playing it very smart but you feel trapped by playing it smart because this person's an emperor so they're kind of like manipulative and they're very like they'll turn it on you really quick like and say oh you're crazy I'm not doing anything you're crazy the emperor and the empress interesting that that is here you could be connecting with a Libra. You could be finding your other half this month. Somebody who makes you feel in your power, empowered. But I'm getting that this is a separate energy from the deceptive energy. You feel like somebody's deceiving you and you're too good for them. You're like... I, that's why, Leo, you guys are awesome, honestly, because I feel like this is not going to phase you. You've already been feeling this way for a while, so when this comes to light, you're going to be like, mm, I'm kicking you to the curb because I'm a goddamn empress. Queen of Pentacles. With Ten of Cups. You could be seeking, you could be connecting with an earth sign or somebody with earth in their chart. And you want to have a happy family with them. You could want to get married to this person. You want something to f like fulfill your cup, Leo. You want something to bring you the sun card, to bring you completion. You're ready to settle down. And you're going to be getting that. You're going to be finding somebody who's going to feel like they're your other half. Somebody who you're going to have to work very hard for. And you know what, Leo? I think you like to work, especially if you're a very masculine Leo. You're, you're somebody who really likes to put in the work for people. You kind of like the thrill of the chase. And I think whoever this Emperor Empress figure is that you're going to be feeling very heavy. Could be a Libra, could be a Taurus, Aries, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But whoever it is, you're going to kind of like that you have to put in work for them. Because I think this other person was too easy. Whoever this deceptive person is, they're easy. And you want somebody who's hard to get. And this person is hard to get. You got two tens here right next to each other. This is wholeness. This person makes you feel whole. Page of Wands, new beginning. Could be someone from your past. This person could be at a distance from you. You could be meeting this person in the desert. Ten again! Oh my god! Ten of Pentacles! This is absolutely wonderful, Leo. You're feeling whole in the month of February. Like, whole. You're going to be abundant. Just kind of keep an eye on your finances is what I'm seeing. I feel like you're going to be... You're not going to be so worried about money in, in February. You should keep an eye on it. Pay attention to your pentacle, but don't stress over it. You know what I mean? You're going to be working very hard in all three aspects of life. You're going to be working hard with your work, you're going to be working hard with your romantic life, and you're going to be working hard with your communication skills, with making connections with people. 
you really want something to work and you're willing to put in the effort for it because I think that this person that you're coming into contact with in February um, it's gonna grow this relationship is gonna grow very very deep this is very deep the tower could be a Scorpio you're connecting with because fixed sign is here you could be connecting with another with like another fixed sign Queen of Swords you got to hear with the King of Swords. You could be connecting with an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. I see Aquarius here. I see Libra here. But you, yeah, you're connecting with somebody who does not take crap from people, and I think that's why you're willing to put in the work, because both of you have been deceived. I think this person was in a third-party situation, too. They were in some sort of deceptive situation. And now you both are just sitting here, being really logical, together. <laughs> being very cutthroat, you don't care about anybody, this person's going to come in very abrupt. I think they're going to come in after you discover who this person is. So, you know, don't get too, don't get too turned, like, don't get too sad about this person because right after that, you're going to be hearing some good news too. Something you've been planning for, I think you you kind of had a feeling that somebody new is coming into your life. But work is going to be really, like, really good. Just kind of keep an eye on your finances, Leo. Yeah, you're going to be, con some of you are going to be connecting with a Scorpio. I got the Tower and Death here with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups and the World. You're connecting with a Scorpio, some of you. It's going to bring great change, great change. And you just want to be with this person. You just want to break down their walls. I think that this Scorpio has a lot of walls. You know, we're like onions. We have a lot of layers. And you kind of have to peel away at those layers in order to get to the gooey, sweet, you know, like gooey Scorpio. <laughs> and you, this is somebody that you're going to really have to work hard in order to get to know them or get, get to their innermost self. But you like that. Because you're a lion. You like the thrill of the chase. You like to hunt down that prey, you know what I mean? Especially if you're a masculine. Queen of Cups. Yeah, this is somebody who is very in touch with her emotions. The Scorpio you're connecting with is very emotional. Very emotional. But it came out upright. Like, I don't even read reversals, but it came out upright even when I pulled it. So this is somebody who's very in touch with their emotions, but they're not like over-emotional. Like, they don't drown in their emotions. Somebody who's very generous. Somebody could be coming in to give to you, Leo, or you could be at a point where you want to give to somebody. Maybe that's how you feel you're going to balance out your finances. You feel as if you're going to have to be giving to people, maybe giving to a Libra in order to balance something out. Let's pull you a advice card. Queen of Fire. Wow. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. I feel like you're tiptoeing around something, Leo. You're really tiptoeing around a situation, and you need to just go in there. You're a lion. You attack your prey. You're confident. This is literally like the qualities of a Leo. Confident, warm, intelligent, and graceful. You know some shit's going down. Yeah, next to the king of wands. You are finding... The king to your queen, or the queen to your king, Leo? They could, it could be another fire sign, too. It could be someone with fire in their chart as well. Just don't let this deceptive person kill you. This deceptive person could be a fire sign. Just don't let them kill you. You're going to have a bunch of swords in your back, but you're going to stay alive. This is... I mean, it's kind of negative at first, but like, at least it lightened up there at the end. You know, you're going to be discovering who this person is. And you already kind of have an idea of who it is. You really do. Um, and that, you know, once you do, it's going to sting a little, it's going to break your heart a little, but somebody's coming right in after to mend that heart. They're coming right in for you. But yeah, this is absolutely wonderful. All the reads have been really, really good for February so far. So if you'd like to book a personal read, please DM me or email me. Um, and other than that, I will see you guys next month. Have a wonderful rest of your month, Leo. Bye.